Take heart, Londale. Winter weather can be fun, and here in Londale, there are always great things happening, rain or shine. The Los Angeles Rams were so close to a championship, but Londale is in fact home of the CIF state champion Cardinals football team and their college-bound stars. In fact, awards abound as residents compete for holiday spirit recognition. And speaking of recognition, you want to meet some of the new great faces here at City Hall. And who can with a few more parking spaces? These stories and more are coming your way as Londo Living begins right now. Welcome to Londale Living, the show that features everything Londale. I'm your host, Jennifer Murillo. While the Christmas holidays are but a distant memory for most folks here in Londale, the spirit lives on as the city's beautification committee recognized some of the great residents who did the best to decorate their homes for the holidays. Our Londale Living camera crew was there to bring you the spirited story. We're having our beautification awards for our decoration contests over the holidays. And our beautification committee went through the different categories for the decorations that were done through the, through the year for the season and just had a wonderful time with the families that joined and participated. I'm getting an award for decorating my house for Christmas. It feels good because this is where I live and I feel good to represent the city I live in. We graciously had just received the award for the most outstanding um, on the Christmas home decorations. Very humbled, first of all, excited. Um, we put in a lot of time, uh, effort, and my darling, darling and I, we did it with a lot of love. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. So this one was a focus specifically on the holiday season and that type of activity, but Beautification Committee runs so many things through the city. And it's important for us to recognize the folks that are actually participating so that we can encourage others to get in. Uh, it's great for the city of Londo to recognize us, a little family, and we go get an award and all that. It's, it feels good. Um, I think it's beautiful to at least just even have, just even if it's a candle celebrating uh, a Christmas light outside, you know, for the holidays. It shows like the other residents that they could do it too. There's another opportunity coming next year to join in. So just grab an application, join the group, look around. Again, it's very simple. You can go from a small scene to crazy up and do the whole house. If you'd like to be part of the contest next year, just call the City of Londo's Municipal Services Department at 310-973-3260 or visit us online at www.londelcity.org to apply. You can also pick up an application at City Hall. We are also proud of our Londo High School Cardinals football team for being the Division 2A state champions this year. And did you know some of the young men on the team will be playing on Saturdays next year? Recently, Londale High School held a letter of intent signing day to announce which colleges the standout seniors Naki Fahina and Jordan Wilmore will be spending the next four years. Our Londale Living camera crew was at Londale High School to get the scoop. Today we are celebrating two of our other fun athletes, Mr. Naki Fahina and Mr. Jordan Wilmore. To all the kids out there watching this, if you're if you saying you want to go through this process, make sure you really want to because it's not as easy as people think it is. It's really a process you have to think about because it's for your future. Man in motion is SD and Wilmore gets it on a funky handoff and Wilmore breaks free down to the 30, the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Mondale. I'm super excited. Uh, first off, I'm excited because, you know, it's, it's a full scholarship, so everything's paid for, so nothing's going to come out of my parents' pocket. That's, that's the main reason why, you know, it's great to have this scholarship, and I'm blessed to have it. I kind of touched on it earlier in the ceremony, but when I first started this job, um, we had no athletes that were going to college for athletics, so 
to have it be a regular annual thing where we pretty much assured get someone to a, a division one school every year it's it speaks volumes to just the progress we've made over the past four years um even just thinking back with uh Chimezi, which was one of our basketball players how he's now in the nba well as a competitive coach you know that it means the world um this is what we aspire to do we want to you know win championships and that was the goal i didn't i didn't even think about a state championship um, but that's what my kids wanted, and, and that's what they got. So it means everything to me as a coach. Our goal was to win section championships, and the fact that these boys and my coaches were able to pull together and make it all the way to be state champions, it's its unreal. It's, it's unbelievable for our city, for our school, for our district to be the first to ever do that. It's really a dream come true for all of us. To move on to the next level is just a blessing because, like you said, not a lot of people get there and stuff, so... You know, I'm just going to have to stay on my grind to just keep pushing forward and uh, becoming successful. Without Coach Clark, honestly, I don't even think I would be able to go through this process because this was by far the most stressful process anybody could go through. Just seeing the growth, you know, and, and the, the, the types of schools that we're getting into now. We went from, you know, Division One AA schools to now, you know, premier top programs um, in the Pac-12 um, and other conferences uh, around the world. Um, so it's, it's, it's just huge. It's huge to see the growth. That means everything to our district, our school district, our community. We're just so excited. And then to cap it off with these kids going to college and get a free education to, to do something that they love. You know, there's, 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 there's it's no, no words can describe how incredibly happy I am for my kids. We salute Coach Travis Clark and we wish Naki and Jordan the very best over the next four years and plan to watch them on TV as they move their games to Saturdays. You may have noticed a couple of new faces at City Hall over the past couple of months. The city recently hired two new directors to take over the reins of the Municipal Services Department and the City Clerk's Office, and we'd like for you to meet them. First up, Michael Reyes. He recently joined us to head up the city's code enforcement, parking enforcement, and animal control duties. Our Lawndale Living camera crew caught up with Michael to discuss some of the things we can look forward to in the coming months. My name is Michael Reyes. I'm the new Director of Municipal Services for the City of Lawndale. I've been working in the public sector for a little over 20 years. My role, what I want to do in addition to providing enforcement, is also provide information and understanding of what we do. So I would like to increase the, the community policing presence here. I do want to um, develop a relationship between law enforcement, my staff, and the community to kind of improve um, relationships. Um, the communities that thrive are the ones that, that have a relationship with the residents. Three of the aspects of the Municipal Services Department are animal control, parking control, and code enforcement. Those are the three primary branches of what we do. Um, each of them has their own responsibilities and roles. Uh, parking obviously is going to be pretty self-explanatory. People understand what the role of parking is. Um, animal control, again, pretty simple. We're monitoring registration for, for domestic animals and also to make sure that the, the safety of the animal is, is secure as well as the public. Um, code enforcement is probably the one that's the most confusing. People don't always understand what code enforcement is. They don't understand why they would need necessarily permits for things, why do they need licenses for things. Um, and again, all that speaks to the safety of the community and to regulate, that, to see that people are doing the things that the community has already shown to be their values. We answer to the council, obviously, the council that represents the community and we are public servants, so our role is to, to serve the public. If you'd like to find out more about the Municipal Services Department, you can always call Michael at 310-973-3260 and he will be happy to answer any questions or issues you have. Next up is Matthew Ceballos, the new Assistant City Clerk. Matthew has penished for getting things done and he enjoys meeting and helping people. Managing all the paperwork at City Hall is a formidable task, but Matthew is up for the J-O-B. Our Londo Living camera crew caught up with Matthew to see some of the great new things he has planned for Lawndale. My name is Matthew Ceballos. I am a double alum from Cal State Long Beach. I got my MPA, which is a Master's in Public Administration. The city clerk operates in three main capacities. Uh, they're the elections official, 
uh, the records manager and are heavily involved in meeting facilitation, so city council meetings as well as all the other advisory bodies. So as you can see, my, my desk, my office is a front-facing desk, so we have uh, public interaction all the time. I, I really want to improve our website and the ability to get um, content to the citizens, um, whether that be contracts, uh, business licenses, day-to-day uh, -day meetings is to have that all accessibility all accessible and at the fingertips of every resident here in Long Beach. Uh, I'm open open to suggestions and new ideas all the time and uh, I'd, I'd really love what uh, to hear what the city of Long uh, wants and wants to see from their government. If you have any questions or concerns, Matthew can help you with the process and get you what you need when you need it. So give him a call at 310-973-3211. One plan that is happening right away is the construction of the new posting board in front of City Hall. Now residents can easily view upcoming meeting agendas without having to go inside City Hall, meaning they can find what is happening even when City Hall is closed. The sign will be maintained regularly and is conveniently located in front of City Hall. If you have any questions, feel free to call the City Clerk's Office at 310-973-3211. You may have noticed there has been some demolition happening across the street from City Hall. The city is tearing down an old house that it purchased years ago to make more parking spaces at the Harold D. Hoffman Community Center. Spearheaded by the Lawndale Public Works Department, this project will help residents access city facilities more readily in the future. Our Londo Living Camera Crew files this report. Um, this project happened as a result of the development of the community center a few years back, and this is the final phase of the project, the, which will include parking, landscaping requirements, and a new block wall. Originally here for many years, there was a two bedroom, one bath house, a small, post-World War II home that has been since demolished and now uh, the contractor will be coming forward and developing, uh, putting in the landscaping uh, improvements as well as the asphalting for additional parking stalls so when folks come in the community center there's additional parking available. Um, it just started about two weeks ago, the demolition of the house, um, but due to the rain and inclement weather, it's kind of delayed. It's definitely going to benefit uh, the whole city-wide when folks come to the community center. It'll provide additional parking for folks that come in and utilize uh, City Hall as well as the community center or the library. I foresee this being done in the next few months and completed and, and finalized. Now let's take a look at some of the great events and programs that are coming your way with Tom Strickfadden and the Londo Living Community Calendar. Thanks Jennifer. There's always a whole lot of great things happening here in Lawndale and the Community Center has a lot of awesome programs and classes for just about everyone. For instance, did you know that we have a wide variety of dance classes for all ages such as tap, jazz, ballet, hip hop, line dancing, and Mexican folklorico dancing. And we have a lot of other great classes such as kids cooking, gymnastics, music, and martial arts. Plus there are youth sports programs and a game room for teens and adults. So come on down to the Harold E. Hoffman Community Center right here at Civic Center Plaza and join a class today. We've got a number of great events coming up in the months ahead such as Spring Cleanup Day and Spring Cleanup Week. Here's your chance to clean up some of the junk you've been wanting to get rid of with curbside recycling on your trash day and free garage sale permits. You can also help volunteer with the walking cleanup crews to pick up trash along the streets and get a free hot dog from Wiener Schnitzel just for helping out. For more information, call the Municipal Services Department at 310-973-3220 or visit us online at www.lawndalecity.org. Also coming up this spring is the annual Youth Day Parade featuring Pirate Days. The parade will be held on Saturday, April 27th, starting at 10 a.m., so be sure to come early and get a good place to watch. Also that same morning before the parade will be the annual Lawndale Community Bike Ride along the parade route. For more information about these great events, give the Community Services Department a call at 310-973-3270 or visit us online at www.lawndalecity.org.
www.lawndale.org. Also, don't forget about the Easter egg hunt sponsored by the City of Lawndale, which will be coming up on Saturday, April 20th. This event is fun for the whole family. Well, that about wraps it up for this month's community calendar. Back to you, Jennifer. Thank you, Tom. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of Londo Living. If you'd like to find out more about any of the programs you've seen on today's show, give us a call at 310-973-3200 or go to the city's website at www.londocity.org. Remember, you can always find out what's going on on Londo City's TV cable channel 3 by going to the city's homepage and clicking on the City TV Guide on the right side of the screen under Quick Links. This will give you a complete listing of all the great shows on Lando City TV. And if you don't have cable, you can still watch us by streaming our channel live by clicking on the Watch button. And remember, you can also find us in beautiful high-definition video by searching for Lando City TV on YouTube. Please subscribe and bookmark us too. You can also follow us and get notifications about Londo City TV on Facebook and with Twitter. Now for all of those here at Londo City TV and City Hall, I'm your host Jennifer Murillo. We'll see you next time. <music>